Hey, it's Raj from 3CB. Welcome to this week's episode of Quick Hits. I reviewed a paper from the British Journal of Sports Medicine, BJSM, that looked at which factors following ACL rupture are associated with higher rates of return to play and pre-injury levels. This paper was a systematic review which took over 1,300 papers and then whittled it down to 16 based on strict inclusion criteria. Now, based on those papers, here were the results. There's two key takeaways that I really want to focus on. First is the fact that they found that kinesiophobia and confidence were associated with return to play. The mental and psychological aspect of recovery has always existed, but it's always been behind the scenes. However, recently with more research, and also the fact that you now have athletes, high-level athletes, like for example, Arsenal's Hector Bellerin, and also Oklahoma City Thunder's Andre Roberson, who both have talked openly about some of the mental challenges and setbacks and how they overcame them. Them talking about that has helped shed some more light on these psychological aspects, specifically kinesiophobia, which is fear of movement, or fear of re-injury. So that's key takeaway one. Secondly, is that this paper found that hop testing and functional testing, which is often used as a key return to play metric for athletes, may not actually be valid. So that's a key thing to understand for clinicians, but that also needs to be examined further and looking at are there certain hop tests and functional tests that are reliable whereas some are not. 